Thank you. Okay, let's do a brief warm up. Just take a, a good stance here and just shift the weight forward and back. And we're just rocking the arms, just very relaxed arms, like loose ropes, just swinging. And so we're developing the legs and also training the upper body to be relaxed the arms so I press down the front leg to send me back press down the back foot to send me forward and just let natural forces work to move those arms for you and as you get warmed up you can press more strongly into the leg into the ground and get a bigger freer, freer swing in the arms releasing the abdomen And other stance. So it would be nice and vertical here. And pressing down the foot, pressing down the foot, releasing those shoulders. Good. Coming shoulder width parallel. Doing the same pressing into the ground, but with both feet and to get the arms to gradually swing sideways. So again, not doing this with my arms at all. So it's a matter of finding a rhythm, pressing into the ground with the legs. So basically pressing down into the ground, sends the body up and the arms out. And then you don't bring the arms back. You just let natural weight Gravity bring the arms back and pushing into the ground sends a wave of force, a wave of force up and through the body. And that's what sends the arms out to the sides. So the arms are not doing this at all. And then if we press more strongly into the ground, we can get a full circle. Again, that's with timing and natural forces, not the arms doing it at all. And I can direct the arms the other way. And letting the arms just be taking down with gravity. Knees bent a little bit. The weight stays in the center, so we're not shifting the weight at all. We're just turning the hips to start with, just the hip turn. Again, those legs are bent. The work is in the legs. Upper body is soft and released and open. And just let go through the shoulders. Then a little wider, and we add a weight shift to the hip turn. And again, continuous releasing through the arms and shoulders. And winding down, walking the feet in, walking the feet out. Hands resting at the belt, rolling the shoulders, articulating the spine, rolling the other way, hip turns, and on the ball of one foot, the leg you're standing on is bent a little bit. 
make big knee circles that gets the entire leg, hip joint, knee joint, ankle, and foot. Exploring the range of motion. And other way. And to the other side. Make sure the leg you're standing on, that knee is unlocked. Arching back, breathe through that stretch, and forward and down. And down on the knee, pressing hips forward. Then coming up a few times, so press into the ground through the feet, stretch through that leg, long, to pop you up. Down, stretch through the front of that leg to pop you up. Three or four times, and then up, Tenkai. Arching the other way. Make sure you don't hold your breath, breathing throughout. And forward and down. Relaxing, releasing through the stretch. And onto the knee. Pressing through the hips. Coming up, press into the ground through the feet, stretching through the front of the leg. If I show you the action, the vector, stretching through the front of the leg, prop pops me up. Stretching down through the front. I don't have to contract or tighten to come up. I extend, lengthen and extend through the front. That pops me up rather than tightening to come up. Okay, one foot in front. Okay, white belt program to continue to warm up. Funiko Kiendo. Again, of course, the feet stay flat, so you don't want to pop up. Hips stay under the head. Coming underneath your partner's power, dropping down on top of your hips. Coming underneath your partner's power, dropping down back on the hips. So big arc here, or wave action. Coming underneath, dropping down. Underneath, dropping down. Flowing, curving underneath, dropping down. And other side. And with the tenkai, with the turn. Take your time to make each side a forward stance. Knees are bent, so you're just coming from your hips and legs. Upper body is virtually not involved. It's all just down here, as if you just have a lower body. Okay, forward and back, Manucci. Full extension without locking the elbows. And with the pivot. Okay, Hami no Kamai, weight 60% forward. Switch Hami, switch. Back foot comes up, front foot comes back. Keep the knees bent, you're staying even, balanced, grounded, anchored, yet very mobile. Footwork is light, but the weight is always sinking. You're not popping up. So release the abdomen, relax down through the hips. Okay, uh, left side forward, Dottie. Near me, Sugiyashi, front foot comes offline, turn 45. Each. 
Wick stays in the front leg. Knee. Up. Keep. Leaning on me. Right leg forward. Each. Up. Cheek. If we keep the right leg forward, then we're set up to do Irami Aumiyashi. If you want to do a couple practice ones, so that's Irami Aumiyashi. Back foot comes up offline. Front foot turns 45. The weight is in the front leg. So the weight is in the right leg. Weight is in the left leg. We're maintaining a slight forward stance throughout. Right leg forward, each. Knee, nice good extension. Arm switch only because of the leg switching or rotating around your center line. So I'm not pumping my arms. I'm simply turning around my center line. Up. Sheep. Weights in the forward leg. Okay, left leg forward. Back foot comes up, front foot comes back. Weight stays at the forward side. So weights on the left leg, weights on the right leg. Full extension. Okay, so with the counts, each. Knee. Ah. Okay, forward stance, Tenkai. Shifting back, turning on the heel, turning on the heel, forward stance. Shifting back, turning on the heel, turning on the heel, forward stance. Arms simply change because of the rotation of the body. Forward stance, forward stance. So each time is a forward stance. It's just slightly forward, about 60%. Tenkai. Tenkan is the back leg going back. Remember, we've been working on front foot does a minor turn on the ball of the foot to set up with a big full turn here. Front foot does a minor turn, big step. Okay, let's do a few together. Each. E. San. Shi. Weight stays in that forward leg. Switch stance. So, front leg does a minor turn, just turn slightly on the ball of the foot. So you're protecting that leg, stays as one unit. It's nice to set up for that turn. Just avoiding twisting the joint. So a slight turn there. The weight stays in that front leg throughout this turn. Each, knee, top, she, forward leg. Okay. Tenkan Undo, it's 90 degree Tenkan. So this is the same as Irami Aimiyashi, where the back foot comes up offline, front foot comes back. We're just going more than 45 degrees, going to the 90 degrees. So it's like a big Irami Aimiyashi and Manucci. So quick review, pushing up that back foot drives the upward arc. As this foot settles back, so not as it's coming around, because I'm still ungrounded. As that heel settles down, boom, that's the power to draw the arms down and back. So I'm not coming down with my arms as my leg is going back, I'm ungrounded. The dropping of that heel, boom, draws us back. Pushing off the heel, drives them up, okay? So the count is there and back, each. For this level, the weight stays in the front leg. Knee. For this level, it's a continuous forward stance. San. Weight's in the right leg. Weight's in the left leg. Shi. Go. Go. Sich. Touch. Okay, Migi Hami, right leg, to 180 degrees. Same dynamics, driving the arms, pushing off, drives the arms forward and up, settling the heel down, 
as that heel drops to the ground, it draws the arms down. From there and back, each. E. Son. E. O. Rope. Each. Touch. Okay, so that's the entire weight belt program. Moving into ninth cube program. Okay, bringing two footworks together. Hear me, Sugiyashi, Tenkai. So if you want to try that mechanically once or twice, so left leg forward. Hear me, Sugiyashi, it's 45 degrees. Shifting back, turn, turn, weights on the right leg. Forward stance, okay? So here we go. Hear me, Sugiyashi, Tenkai. Hiri Sugiyashi, Tenkai. So two count, each knee, forward stance. Each knee, okay, all that in one count. Each, knee. So now at the end, weight should be in the right leg. Sign. Okay, let's do the other side. Miggy honey, right leg forward. A couple practice runs, so offline turn. It's Irmi Sugiyashi, Tenkai. Waist in the left leg at the end. So that's Irmi Sugiyashi, Tenkai into a forward stance. Okay. Arms just move with the center line. So Irmi Sugiyashi, Tenkai. Two counts. Each knee. Each knee. Okay, all that on one count. Each. Hanging from the string, in other words, weight sinking through the hips and legs. So you're anchored, but vertical and extended. Knee. Um, okay, let's uh, go back to left leg forward. Here we Sugiyashi, Tenkan. So, left leg offline, turn 45, turn on the front foot to sit up for that full Tenkan, weights in that left leg, forward leg. Okay, so here we Sugiyashi, Tenkan. Leg forward, here we Sugiyashi, Tenkan. Weights in the left leg, forward leg. Good extension, verticality. Okay, so on two counts, each knee. Each. Okay, one count for the whole move. Each weights in the forward leg, left leg in this case. E. Sign. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So Migi on me, right leg forward. So that's going to be here me Sugiyashi, a little turn on the right foot to set up for that big turn with the left leg. So that's here me Amiyashi, set up for the Tenkan. Weight will be in the right leg, forward leg. Okay. So here we go. Here me Sugiyashi, Tenkan, forward stance, right leg. So on the two counts. Each knee. So it's the back diagonal. It should be precisely cutting through that back diagonal with your center line and your hand blades. Very precise 
back diagonal, each, e. Okay, all that on one count, each, four stats, knee, Solid. Okay. Let's go back to Migi Hanmi. We're going to do Irimi Aimi Ashi. Tenkai. So we just finished doing the Irimi Sugi Ashi and then the second move. So now we do Irimi Aimi Ashi, the back foot coming up. So left leg comes up. We do our 45 degree turn. And we'll start with Tenkai, finishing in that forward right leg. Okay, so here me, Amiyashi, Tenkai, weight into the right leg. Here me, Amiyashi, Tenkai. Okay, on two counts. Each, knee. Each, knee. Okay, so all that on one count. Each. Each. Ah. And into a forward stance. Okay. Let's do that on the other side. So, Hidari, left leg forward. So, that's going to be Irmi, Amiyashi, pivot. Irmi, Amiyashi, Tenkai into a forward stance, left leg. Okay. So, Irimi Amiyashi, Tenkai, arms move with the center line. Shoulders are always down and relaxed. Irimi Amiyashi, Tenkai into a forward stance. Okay, on a two count. Each knee. Each knee. Okay, the whole thing on one count, each into a forward stance. Knee. Uh, okay, let's go back to Migi Hanmi. We're going to do Irumi Amiyashi Tenkan. Back leg goes back. So it's Irimi Amiyashi, set up for a minor step for the big step. Okay? So, right side forward. Irimi Amiyashi, Tenkan. Precisely to that back diagonal. Right into the corner. Right leg forward. Irimi Amiyashi, Tenkan. Your hands cover your center line the whole time. When you do that little turn, in this case the Tenkan, if I demonstrate, right now my hands are in front of my center line. But as I turn, you might lose that. So I'm here from my center line. Watch what can happen when I do either a Tenkai, but especially a Tenkan. It's left behind. And this is open. We talked about the same thing when we do Taino Henko. When we talk about Taino Henko, we spend a lot of time talking about, don't leave this behind. You come offline, turn, you keep this in front of your center, in front of your center line. Okay, so we work on that a great deal. And so turning hips pushes that arm in front. I do Tano Henko, I don't want to leave that behind. I want to come in front of my center. So when I do a Tenkan, that can tend to happen. I start nicely, sharply aligned, and then I start to turn back. Watch what happens with this front arm, especially. I'm open here. So this hasn't stayed connected, integrated to my shape, my posture, in particular the center line. That has a lot to do with hips and elbows. Just like Tano Henko, I step and I enter and turn the hip towards my partner. That turns the elbow. That keeps it in front. So when I do my Tenkan, I want my hips connected to my elbows. 
my hips driving my elbows. So my hands stay in front of center line, not disconnecting. Okay. So right leg forward, Irami Amiyashi, and we do your Tenkan, try not to leave that left hand behind a little bit. It's driven across. In fact, that left elbow, that forward elbow, is driven right across your center line by your hip turn. Okay, so more experienced of you on, on this uh, video tonight should be consciously working on that. As I do my Tenkan, that's keeping my elbow in front. If I don't do that, I have this opening here. It's driven in front. That's for defense and offense. Obviously, I'm open defensively. And also in terms of offense, it's right there. You don't have to do anything. It's already set up. So right leg forward, Irimi Amiyashi, Tenkan. Forward in the left leg. Okay, so on one count, each. Right leg forward, knee. Ah. Okay, Hidari, left leg. So that's going to be Irami Amiyashi, Tenkan. Weight stays in the right leg. Okay, left leg forward. So Irami Amiyashi, Tenkan. One, two. Okay, now on one count, the whole thing. Each. Keep the center line covered. Knee. Oh. Forward stance. Okay, now. Side break fall, half seiza, tuck chin, hand on the belt, cross, raise, slap. Okay, right nose, we want to go to the flank, not to the back corner. Slide off, keep the head on the chest, right directly, 90 degrees. Check the finish. Okay, go ahead, do two or three on each side. Okay, Ush Ushiro Otoshi. So, same setup, except I'm gonna come up here, and as you might remember, I'm gonna bring that lower leg in. I don't wanna sit on my leg, either live toes or not. It's gonna be hard on the joints. So I bring the lower leg in, so my butt goes directly on the ground. I set up. Okay, go ahead. Do four of those. Okay. Then, Shiko. Okay, so as we mentioned last couple classes, it's all about rotating the hips. So I don't want to come up into each Shiko. I simply want to be rotating the hips. Rotating, 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 rotating. Okay, go ahead. Yes.
Good. So Sarah, that's very good. That's good hip turn. Okay, now. Yushiro Tenkan, which really means just walking backwards, but of course with our weight low, knees bent, also again not bobbling up and down for obvious reasons. So we're not dragging our foot on the ground and we're not circling around. We're stepping straight back, but the hips are turning. So we're turning around our center line and that exchanges the arms. So that looks like this. And we are still maintaining a forward stance. We could do a back stance, but that would not be good for basic. We want to maintain a forward stance, forward energy, forward at thought, leaning forward, nice and vertical, but we don't want to be caving, retracting. We want an outflow, an outflow. That's why we're emphasizing forward stance. Okay, so try. Do a few Ushiro Tenkan. I only call it Tenkan because Tenkan means turn. We're turning our hips to make the step. Okay, try a few of those. Okay. Shomonuchi. John, you've gone into a lot of detail with all these movements and specifically shomunuchi, okunuchi, a lot of detail. So we're just going to go through a few of these. San, Chi, Oh, okay, other side. Each. Oh, okay, Yokome. So again, we cover detail of mechanics, timing, how the legs and arms are connected, all that. So if you forget or you miss those, those are on previous recorded classes. So it's important to go back and review those. Those details are fundamental. Each. Me. Remember how we get that angle? It's not the arm that does the angle, right? It's the whole body. San. It's body based, which is really hip and down, hip and below, creating that angle, not the arm. Oh. Okay, other side. Each. The other hand remains active. Knee. On, you come in. She. Whoa. Four stands. Sayuendo. Two beats. So last class we differentiated between shifting the weight to the side. We are shifting the weight to one leg, but not bumping out, sinking into the hip. Turning, 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 turning. So if you can do a few of these with me. One, two. So you're cutting into here. Thinking into here, so not doing this. This is not good alignment. Sit into the hip, sit into the hip. Okay, that's the action. Arms, just go for the ride. You just go for the ride. Elbow not locked. Shoulders down. On two beats. Each, knee, san, chi, lo, rope, seach, touch. With movement, keeping nice and even and stable. Each, knee, san, chi, lo, rope, seat, touch. Again, each, knee, san, chi, lo, rope, knees bent, seach, touch. Okay, back to stationary, one beat here. Sink, sink, sink. Now the detail is we're turning the head opposite from the arms on both two beat or one beat. Nice big arc. 
You can't make it too big unless you're leaning and locking. So that is going to extend it too far. As big as possible, maintaining verticality and good open joints, not closed lock joints. Okay, so stationary, one beat. Neat, neat, san, chi, ro, ro, neat, touch, u, ju. Slice step. Neat, chi, san, chi, ro, ro, sich, touch, u. You. Okay, let me know if you have any questions at all. Okay, let's touch upon a new technique in the next program. Okay, so we know this is Irimi Sugiyashi. Irimi Sugiyashi. Sugiyashi means there's no full step. The front step is moving, but I'm not stepping. That's ayumiyashi. Ayumiyashi is actually stepping. Sugiyashi is just front foot moving over. So, earlier program, basic irimi sugiyashi. So now, in this program, HQ program, it's going to be the same movement, but rear. So, ushiro sugiyashi. Ushiro sugiyashi. So that means I move to the back corner. So I step offline and slide back into a back stance now. Okay. So Irimi Sugiyashi is coming offline on the front foot. Instead of just turning, I'm going to move to the back corner, big slide step. And that's coming back into a half stance or the T stance. Okay, so offline front foot, back with the left leg. So the weight is a little bit more on the back leg. Make sure your right knee is bent a bit. So offline, slide step back. Offline, slide step back, back stance. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So, Irimi Sugiyashi, but Ushiro. So we slide to the back corner. Sugiyashi, Ushiro. Sugiyashi, Ushiro. So Ushiro, Sugiyashi, offline to the back corner. Back stance. Offline to that back corner. Offline to that back corner. Okay. Now, Ayumiyashi, so we know that Ayumiyashi is, it's actually a step. Ushiro Ayumiyashi will be coming offline with the back foot, full step back with the front foot, going to that back corner again. So Ayumiyashi stepping with the back foot, coming off line, full step back with the front foot. Now it becomes the back foot. Weights in that back leg, right leg. Okay. So right leg forward. Back foot comes off, front foot, full step back, sliding back. So Ushiro Ayumiyashi. Left foot over, right foot fully back, left foot slides in. Back foot offline, full step back to the back corner, slide back. Offline, full step back, slide back. Offline, full step back, slide back into that back corner. Okay, so then the other side, you don't need left foot forward. Just like how we did Irimi Aimiyashi, how it started, starts the same way. And then we do a full step back with the left leg to the back corner, sliding into that left leg. 
So back leg, offline, full step to the back corner, slide back into the back leg. Of course, we don't want to be leaning back when we slide back. We slide back into that back hip and leg. The weight's going down that back hip. Not out. Sliding back. It's like I'm cutting a sword as I slide back. Cutting the sword as I slide back. Okay? So left leg forward, back foot offline, full step back, sliding back. Back foot offline, full step back, slide back. Offline, full step back, slide into the left leg. So each knee. Each knee. Each knee. So that's now working at back steps. Okay. Okay, so let's do misogi. Hang out, body open and spacious. Breathe in, expanding from the core outward. Breathe out, settling back. Okay, now, shaking the hand blades forward, relax the body, right through the entire body, <laughs> shoulders down, lower back flat, in other words, tailbone pointing towards the ground. That unifies your whole body. So you're one ball or one unit, so when you shake the hands up here, it'll reverberate down right through your body. Eventually you're rocking up and down off your heels, not because you're doing it, simply because you're shaking the hands and your body is one unit, one relaxed unit, reverberates through the body, right to the heels. And then you drop three times. Straight up, straight down. And breathing in, breathing out for those three drops. So this is cultivating relaxation and openness, softness, but Open, breathing in, breathing out. Good, and once again from the center, opening, coming back to home base as you breathe out. Expanding out from the center, breathing in, consolidating everything back to the center, mind, Breath, body, energy, back to the center. Like a pulsar, pulsating star. Expanding out, consolidating back. And settle at the center, weight through the legs and feet. Let that open and align your body as you let the tensions and weight Fall freely through the legs. That opens and aligns the upper body. Each out breath is a releasing breath. Okay, let's bow out. Thank you very much. Okay, so in a few minutes we have Sarah's grading. So I'm, I'm a little nervous now because uh, I kind of thought what we were doing, you were like, oh, we're doing everything from the ninth cue. And then I was like, wait a minute, I've already got my ninth cue. So I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. So yeah, you you have your ninth cue working on your ninth cue program, and so when you pass this one, 
Yeah. It'll technically be eighth Q. Oh, okay. Program yet. So you are doing, you know, Irami, Ami, Ashi, Kenkai. Okay. Right? Yeah. Irami, Ami, Ashi, Kenkan. So you're you're well familiar with that. So what I won't, what we won't be doing, we won't be doing Funakuki Endo, Minuchi, won't be doing Kenkan Undo, 90 degrees, 180. That's the one that you tested on previously. Won't be doing any of that. So it's okay. I know that you're well versed on this this program. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It'll click in. It'll click in, and it's totally okay if I need to give you a little visual uh, tip or instigation. That's totally. Yeah, fine. I'm just kind of like I'm kind of now putting the movements to the word a little bit. Yeah, you know what? That's always the last to come for pretty much everybody right just about everybody can attest to that so for those that are available we have a 10 minute break and the zoom setup was for 7 30 so that's a separate uh zoom login information so if you haven't got that i can either give that to you now or send me a quick email because it's a different login than for this for the class so that's just in 10 minutes from now 7 30. if you can join in that'd be wonderful it's just gonna be you know, probably 10 minutes max. And so it's not, of course, it's not a full class, just about 10 minutes for Sarah just to do a little demo. We could celebrate. Right, yeah. <laughs> send, oh, is, that, is that the second uh, test? Not... Send Sarah an, an e-beer. Thanks. I'm sure there's something like, like that that exists. Yeah, I don't drink, but thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ah, right. Uh, Murphy, do you see the other email with the link? Murphy, it's uh, you, your program is the very first one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's how we warmed up. It's the first uh, 10 minutes of class tonight. And oh. check, check out the other Zoom classes because they're yeah. all recorded on our YouTube page. And we've gone through that white belt program yeah. like many, many times. So there's lots of good material to review there. So basically what we did the first 10 minutes of today's class, we've done every class since, uh, since, we, since the school shut down earlier. We've gone through that program every class. Yes. I think I only did two of your ones that were videotaped. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. But well, they're there for you. A lot of catching up to do. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you though. Yeah. That's for sure. Okay. So hope to see some or all of you in a few minutes. Okay. Cool. Okay. Have a little break. <laughs> okay. Listen. Hey,